What are fine motor skills and why are they important, especially for children? Allison Christine from Keystone Educational Services is here now to explain. Welcome to the show. Tell me, Thank what are you. fine motor skills and, and why are they so important? A lot of people don't understand exactly what they are. It's true. Um, you know, I think it's something that people hear the term a lot, but they don't fully understand what mm -hmm. it means. And really, it's just referring to the small muscle development. Um, it could be the hands, the feet, and your face. But usually in education, we're referring to the hands. And these are skills that are important. They're necessary for children to learn how to use scissors, to draw, to write, and really to grasp any small object appropriately. Okay, so what are some of the activities that you do with children, small children, to encourage that, yeah. that development? Well, there's really a lot of activities to do, but some of the fun ones are letting children just cut whatever they want to cut. Let them cut magazines, cut paper till their heart desires. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can also let them go cut large objects out of a magazine, then move to smaller objects as they get better and better. That really perfects those skills. You can have them use Mr. Pointer and Trace. And Mr. Pointer likes all the attention, so all of his other <laughs> friends need to go away. <laughs> um, they can trace numbers, letters, words, shapes, tracing in paint, dirt, shaving cream on a table. That's a fun one. It cleans mm -hmm. the table at the same time. And they can trace with their finger and get the motions they can trace in the air. Also doing things like playing with Play-Doh, stringing bees, using tweezer-like objects to pick things up and put them down really helps those skills as well. Now a lot of times as parents, you know, we're not really thinking about are they developing exactly correct. You know, you should figure right. they're going to pick it up naturally. So at what point might you say, you know, they're at an age where they're not getting it, there may be a delay here? Sure. Well, I just want to emphasize, first of all, it is so important to Consult with your pediatrician if you feel like there's truly a delay with your child. There is mm -hmm. a lot of information out there, a lot of resources and websites that truly look legitimate. I've been very surprised to find some information that is extremely inaccurate. And so it's really important to do that. Um, the only website I can actually acknowledge that is current and factual is the American Academy of Pediatrics website at healthychildren.org. They'll give you milestones and red flags to look for. So for instance, some of those things would be if your child is three to four years old and they're unable to grasp a pencil between their thumb and their fingers, it's something you might want to consult with a pediatrician about. If they are between four and five and they're really struggling to take their clothes off, to if they cannot wash and dry their hands independently, mm -hmm. if they're unable to brush their teeth efficiently, that's something else that you might want to consult with your pediatrician about. Right, but overall, like these are things that they'll just start to naturally pick up as they progress and then... They do. They do naturally pick them up. It's just that the more that you can give them the opportunity to explore those things and mm -hmm. really work those muscles, they're going to pick it up even faster, especially oh, when they're learning how to write. <laughs> All right. All right. So, and you guys also have events over there. So, if you want more information about Keystone Educational Services, um, they have Saturday math sessions for grades 6 to 12. That's 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's very affordable. For more information, go to keystone-edu.com. And for more information on fine motor skills and occupational therapy, contact Lauren Rice with Dominion Education Center at Chesapeake Bay Academy at 497-6200 or visit cba-va.org. Thanks for being here. Yes, thank you so much for having me.